Okay, so when we turn, we're gonna go this way. Yes. Okay, go. Like, now turn, 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 turn. Careful, careful, careful. I purposely have it on my foot to turn it, just so you know. Look, kick the things back. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, you're gonna get stuck okay. behind it. Well, oh shit. Hold oh wait. On. You need to pull it out more. Yeah. Okay, a little, let's go a little bit smoother. Yeah, there we go. Damn, Alicia, you're like... One, two... Wait, no, wait, there's a thing in the way. Oh, damn it. Push it back just a little bit. Okay, now. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we pull it back. Okay, it's like all of you, by the way. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> Just letting you know. Okay, that's good. I carry a lot of fabric. <laughs> oh, wait, isn't that good? I think so. Here, I'll pull it for this uh, Yeah, I could things to... Oh, there we go. I just don't want to fall on anyone. No, it's leaning. No, we should kick it out a little bit. So it leans more. Kick it out? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. The Secret Garden is a series that was born out of a creative block. It had been six months and I was finding it hard to acquire inspiration to go out there and to create. One day while I was showering, where I do some of my best thinking, it occurred to me that I had this set just hanging out in my attic. It was used for several other photography projects, and the last thing that I had done was stapled a bunch of flowers to it. This set was sitting there, not being used, and that's when I thought maybe it was time for me to do something else with it, to create something new with it. I've always been in love with fairy tale stories and gardens. As a child, my mom used to make us these beautiful princess gowns and we used to run around our house and our neighbor's gardens wearing them, playing princess and knight and all these different fairy tale stories. I started to think about my childhood and I started to think about imagination and all the things that make fairy tales and stories come to life. I didn't have a big budget and I didn't have some grand place to photograph this new concept. All I could think was that I could use my attic and I could use the same backdrop and repurpose it and use it over and over again to create new worlds. I wasn't really sure how things were gonna work out. I wasn't even sure if I could really even pull it off, but I knew I had to try. It started with a wooden backdrop that my husband and I built. We found the cheapest possible wood we could find. You see, the thing about the secret garden is that I don't have a big budget. Everything that's part of the garden is reused, repurposed, and borrowed. It started with the Ice Queen. I had no idea if the series was going to work, or even if this first concept was going to work. All I had was my sketchbook. I drew out every single character for the entire series, and beside the drawings, I wrote a little story. I wanted to start the series in winter. I felt as though the winter symbolized my almost stagnant creative process, the six month block. It was cold and she was bitter and slowly the garden would begin to wake up just like spring. this is getting already and I look at all this hair left to do still. Yeah, it looks amazing. I'm super excited about this. Me too. Though I have many different inspirations for the series, the one that stuck out for me for the Ice Queen was Hans Christian Andersen's The Snow Queen. Now it kind of 
hold your hands together so I can like just naturally. If it falls, it's okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. This has nothing to do with you, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> it's exciting. Very nice. That's true. It's important. Yeah. I know. We're just throwing stuff on you. That's why I was. It's so weird because there's so much room for me to move my legs around and there's nothing touching my legs. <laughs> but there's so much in front of you. <laughs> That's funny. That's really beautiful. And then just make sure it chins up really high because you have the, the neck piece and I don't want you to get all back. I don't want to look like you're chin, like chinless. <laughs> Sorry, I keep going here. Sorry. Good, Marissa. Beautiful. Oh, this is this is cute. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing for a second, guys. I'm gonna video. <laughs> The Ice Queen was shot with a good model friend named Marissa, who completely trusted me the entire way. And I worked with two really amazingly talented women, Jillian DiBernardo for hair and Katie Foster for makeup. Once the Ice Queen was shot, edited, and put out into the world, I grew less afraid. I grew less afraid of continuing with the series. I didn't really care what other people would think about it. All I knew is that it felt like some kind of therapy for me. Going up in my attic every day, spray painting, creating new ideas, drawing these characters out, it really became therapeutic for me.
the next concept was the queen awakes. And I really wanted this to be like spring. Like this queen was making the entire secret garden come back to life after a long frost. I was working with a friend of mine named Melora at the time. She's a makeup artist, a stylist, and a former model. She just looked so ethereal, I knew she had to be part of the series, and I knew she had to be the one to wake the series up. I was inspired by the movie The Brothers Grimm. Monica Bellucci's character is laying down amongst all these webs and she's been sleeping for years. I loved the idea of the web surrounding her. I was also inspired by Sleeping Beauty as well, thinking of a deep sleep before you awake. Okay, cool. Okay, so get comfortable. You don't have to take it off. Just get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable? Yep. I am. Okay, I'm going to move this down a bit because I need to. Okay, sit up straighter, does it? No, I think you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't really. Sorry, I'm going to. And I've got long. Yeah, your hair is fairly long, so you can. I don't think you're going to. You don't have to move, like. You don't have to be too uncomfortable. You know what? Is can you lean? Fact? Can you completely lean into back? Like that? Like, yeah. Um, just move forward first, and then I'll get you to actually lean back, and then that way you're comfortable. Do you want me to lift my hair so you can? Uh, yeah. Just give me. Can you give me like two seconds? Yeah. Organs? I pin this in, but you can move down. What I'm thinking, like, is if I start you back, and mm -hmm. then in the as the pictures are going, you can move forward a little bit, so then it looks like you're actually like emerging. Yeah. And then that way you're comfortable while I'm setting up for like ever. <laughs> Cause I don't want you to be like here the whole time, like not able to move. Okay, so just put your head back just mm -hmm. for two seconds so I can get a look. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, now move forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just give me two seconds while I pin this back onto here. Oh, that heater is actually quite nice. Can, mm -hmm. you, can you feel it? Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing this, Melora. Oh, I'm so excited, sweetie. I always get a little nervous. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I always get a little nervous at first that people won't understand oh my. my crazy ideas. Oh no, I totally. But I'm just like, listen, it's gonna look really awesome, oh, I no. promise. I love it, sweetie. The end I'm so excited. I know. Because I'm used to always putting my... <laughs> no, I think that's I think that's the fake hair, yeah. I think so too. I'm like, no, I don't think it's attached. Smile for the video. You can wave too. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. I could do the queen rave. <laughs> oh my god, you look amazing. This is insane. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna have you just relax. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like leaning that. into. Yeah, and I actually kind of like how you just tilted your head a little bit that way. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Just really nice and strong with the eyes. Beautiful. Really nice. Okay, really good. So we're just gonna keep doing that, okay? I've always been interested in insects, like butterflies and moths and even bees. One of my biggest inspirations is the fashion designs of Alexander McQueen and now Sarah Burton, who designs for Alexander McQueen. I make almost all of the costuming for the entire series, so it's always really nice to be able to watch fashion shows to get ideas and inspiration. 
For The Beekeeper, I was really inspired by Alexander McQueen's 2013 show. I loved the idea of the honeycombs and the bee visors that the models were wearing. Okay, so is that something like this? Yeah, but I like this for this kind of thing. Feel your hands and stuff in the handle. It like actually stays where you exactly where you put it. It should start to stick after a few seconds. I hope I'm not uh, hurt. I hope it's not stinging you right now. No, not at all. <laughs> Any hangnails? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, don't worry. Okay, so just let that dry for it's a minute really there. Getting on your dress. I'll, I'll go with this. I don't want to get it on your dress. Even if it's on in there, don't worry. We just wash it. Actually, do you mind leaving your hand out like that? Mm -hmm. Like that, please. There we go. Just a little bit, I think, adds yeah. to some dimensions. Yeah, I like that. Well. Do you feel like a, they're a, all geniuses? <laughs> they're amazing. Sir. They're all geniuses. Mm -hmm. They're like a part of like I don't know. I swear to God, the little part <laughs> part of me is weird. <laughs> Took a long time to find We're it. We're long lost sisters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is, uh, keeping your knees this way and nice and straight up. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna start like that. Cause uh, I like how you naturally kind of just mm -hmm. move and stuff. I know that you know how to use like your fingers mm -hmm. and looking off to the, you, we'll get into that. Okay. There is one shot I kind of want to do where your yeah. hand is sort of like, almost like this. Like, like this? around. Yeah, but not covering it, just a little bit more open. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So we'll do that, but not yet. Okay. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. like, you're not too cold or anything? Is there anything you wanted with my other hand? Did you want to just? Um, well, for now, I'm just going to have your hands maybe clasped together and a little bit lower. Beautiful. And then your chin up and nice and high, maybe just a little bit off this way. Yep, perfect. It's beautiful. You don't want the honey on the shoulders yet, right? Not yet. Okay. Just making sure you go <laughs> this way. No, no! The honey! <laughs> We're gonna do it as like a progression. Okay. Because I need the light here, I'm gonna be shooting between these two. Okay. Just gonna take a yeah. Amazing. Can you see the honey on her? Just I'm cooking down the poor girl. She's gonna take before she goes. Yeah, I know. I told her. I was like, you As I mentioned before, I am heavily inspired by Alexander McQueen, and in 2010 I found his 2007 runway show. It featured this beautiful dress made out of real flowers, and I instantly fell in love. I knew I had to create something like that. My mother, my sister, and I created the dress with over a hundred flowers, and I have used it over and over again. I ended up repurposing the same dress for the Wisteria Princess. Purple is such a fantastic color to photograph, and I knew my series had to have lots of it in it. The series itself is very colorful. I absolutely love gardening, and one of my favorite flowers is the wisteria. I love the way that a wisteria can just take over an entire building. I wanted to create that same sense of flowers just suffocating the garden, as well as the model who would be the fairy tale princess within the garden. I scoured the internet to find wisterias. It was really difficult because some of the prices for these flowers were just completely exceeding any budget that I had. 
but eventually I was able to find a sale and a hundred of them in bulk for a pretty decent price. It was an investment and I knew that I would be using them again, so I was okay with it. We worked with a friend and model named Brianna, who I had worked with since she was 15 years old. She was perfect for the Wisteria Princess. Katie was on makeup again and Jillian was on hair. Oh, you look so gorgeous. Okay, my dear, just stand where you are. Okay. It's gonna just take me a few minutes, okay? Yeah, no problem. Cover me up. It'll look cool too if I'm on the floor with all of these. Yeah, like a bed. It really looks like a, a garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we I don't think it's as chilly. Wonder if you, you sitting as well might be interesting. I think that it's not as cool today. Decorate a forest in the summertime with these. Are you really? Cool. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go out to the forest. Oh my That's God. cool. Awesome. Decorate a forest and then take some pictures. <laughs> Neat. I told my husband, I'm like, you're gonna come help me decorate the forest, right? <laughs> He's like, fuck. Sure, and you love him. it, wouldn't he? Uh, probably not, but he does it. <laughs> he does it anyway. Probably not. Is there any way you'd like these? Uh, no, not really. Just kind of put them anywhere. We'll and then we'll bulk them up so it looks bigger around her. Okay. Yeah, so you can use all awesome. hundred that you bought. Yeah, I just exactly. I want to make sure that we use all of them. We have to now that you've got them. Now that I have a hundred, yeah. <laughs> they look real though. They don't look too fake. Like they're no, they're they look good. good. They are pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. But the thing too is in the pictures, they they look very like realistic. Mm -hmm. Like they don't look like they're pretend. It's gonna be cool when we get like all the smoke and stuff running into. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys are so helpful. Well, we like to be a part of it. <laughs> I'm gonna take a video of this excitingness. <laughs> of this moment. Look at me with flowers. <laughs> oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Favorite one yet. I'm gonna say I think we say that every time. <laughs> Should we move the chair? Well, is this blocking our light? No, we're good. You can actually sit on the chair if you want. Cool chair. Mm -hmm. I saw one. That's so gorgeous. Just wanna take a quick dust shot here? Yep. The picture is perfect. Oh, I'll take a little one. Make sure my lighting and everything is good. Ah, that's the part. And I'm just gonna get you to bring your chin up and out a bit more. That's perfect, yeah. So can you just hold that for a couple shots yeah. and then as soon as I say, okay, look this way, then keep your body that way, but just with your head looking at me slightly. It, Thank yeah. you, I know. This is not This is like much difficult modeling because it's like you have to be kind of trapped. Yeah, you can't really be free, sure. you know what I mean? As you can see, I use a lot of colored smoke bombs in my photographs. I love using them because I think that it adds a lot of dimension to the image, especially when I'm shooting in a small attic on one flat backdrop. The first time I saw a colored smoke bomb was in the amazing work of Tim Walker, who has become such a big inspiration for me. Then I remember seeing other photographers using these colored smoke bombs and I wondered if it was real. I wondered how I could get my hands on some. I was able to find some at a local fireworks shop. My sister took me to the Butterfly Conservatory for the first time. It was the most fantastical experience of my life, having the butterflies fly around and land on me. I felt like I was in a fairy tale. That is when I knew I had to create Madame Papillon. Ooh. 
<laughs> when it works, it'll show up. <laughs> hey, unless there's something left. Ugh, my mouth is down there. The butterfly armor costume was inspired by Alexander McQueen, yes, again. Sarah Burton had created these amazing dresses, and they were made out of feathers, but the feathers made them look like they were butterflies. We worked with a good friend of mine named Alyssa, who is also a former model. She was perfect as the butterfly queen. Katie and Jillian added so much color into her makeup and hair. What I usually do is I send my makeup artist and my hairstylist inspirational images and collages and Pinterest boards, and from there I let them build a look that they think would be appropriate for the image. flowers on the side like when she's like standing we're gonna like I have like vines too we're gonna like put all the vines going up the skirt and a big just bushel of flowers like she just emerged from all this grass and colorful flowers cool. yeah so it's gonna be pretty cool your brain I don't care if you end up hating me I'm not letting you go I hold on I've, I've held on to you for a couple of years <laughs> yeah I think it was it 2011? I think we started shooting like 2010. 2010, yeah. Yeah. The crazy braids. Yeah, yeah. Even the like sassiness. Yeah, like the braids for sure. I do have to take the hair home with me these. Yeah. No, no, no. I feel more comfortable doing it since you're better at not being like strapped. Yeah. Yes. I can't just go you already do that. I know. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Took it. Took it. Just want to make sure it's out first. Thanks, Beautiful, it's so really nice. You can look at me for a couple as well. Love that it's gorgeous. first starts to come out. Can you um, even drop that hand a little bit lower, kind of like right here? Yeah, and just bring it up just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Love, 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 love. Okay. Don't move, that looks unreal. Don't move, please. Gorgeous. I love the way it's smoking behind her, eh? Yeah. You guys see that? Like it's like it's her throne yeah, or something. Yeah, that's amazing. This that, is, was, oh. that was a good smoke bomb placement, Jill. Yeah, Jill. Sick. <laughs> You're getting sick at Jill, this. Jill, really good. <laughs> really yeah, good Jill, really bomb good. Placement. Thanks. Great me. placement. Follow me. Oh, so you actually look like you just stepped out of, like, Lord of the Rings or something. Yes. <laughs> I needed a warrior for the series, somebody to protect the garden. And this is exactly what happened when me and Nicole came together to create the Garden Warrior.
I dedicated this series of images to my mother-in-law. She has been fighting a terminal disease for the last six years. Her strength and courage and inspiration is exactly what I wanted to put into my series. The characters in the series are strong women, all of them with a role, all of them there to protect their garden and the things that mean most to them. Okay, I'm gonna get you to put your hands out. Yep. Are you ready to be painted? Ready! Is it okay if I... Oh god, yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> Please. You know me at this point, just do whatever you want. <laughs> what I want to do is just do like the fingers really subtly. Yeah. There we go. Like, so it's like kind of like a... It's almost like, like a purple queen. Yeah, like you don't really know like why you're I painting. fingers. <laughs> do you? <laughs> Can't tell. Is that light firing? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Just let me know if that light doesn't uh, fire. Okay. It's like natural lighting too. Yeah, coming in from the window. Mm. Did it already come with the stick or did you like put it all together? I put it together, yeah. So cool. That's what I was thinking. Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, no. Uh, oh, sorry. So it didn't get the dress this one. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Closer and down. Yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Love, love, love. Yeah, these are beautiful. Love that. Gorgeous. Love. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I think, I think we definitely have a lot of beautiful shots here right now. Beautiful. Nicole, gorgeous. Thank you. The last image we created before I took a year-long break from the series was the Garden Story Weaver. At the time I was looking at dresses that were made out of book pages, and I was wondering how I could create a dress made out of paper as well. I think that one of the interesting things about making the props for the series is that there always ends up being a hint of darkness or humor. The book pages of the skirt are actually made from Hannibal. This concept is heavily inspired by Alice in Wonderland, one of my favorite books as a child.
Yeah, I'm gonna cut them for you though. Okay. Cause obviously the stem's really long. She looks like her two of her sisters. <laughs> okay, darling. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get you to step into it. Do you want me to take the shoes off? Uh, yeah. Mm, actually, don't. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I'm putting them back on, it's gonna be like. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, then I'm just gonna like lift. So put your feet in it first, and then I'm gonna help you with the dress to get it to fit in there. And hold on to me, okay? Okay, okay. ready? Thanks. Yeah, if you can just help me pull up the other side. Okay. Don't worry about, like, if something breaks, don't worry. We'll tape it back together. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, no problem. You okay? Yeah. Wanna know something funny? Yeah. The book is Hannibal. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering. I was gonna ask you what, uh, what it was. Isn't that hilarious? Ready? Oh, sorry, hon. Actually, don't worry about like the paper. You can lean things against it. I saw that one. Like yeah, that's perfect. And with the magnifying glass, I'm just gonna get you to hold it out like this. And uh, just turn it this way. Almost like, oh yes, yeah, so I have my magnifying like glass. Yeah, and I'm just gonna get you to look right up. Yeah, but yeah, like the scepter. Just looking right at it. Perfect. You got it. Really nice. Your hand placement on the book is really nice too. Just letting you know. Did you ever see that one? But I'm just gonna need to turn her head just a little bit more towards me. Yeah, actually, keep her. Yeah. Uh, can you keep your eyes on me as well? Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Thank you, hon. Oh, here we go. Like everything yeah. I have on my face. And just dropping <laughs> your chin just a little bit down. I don't think I saw that. Gorgeous. Where's that? Um, kind of stony creek. Just a little bit. Perfect. Up on the mountain. Like a cool. Kind of gorgeous, hon. Really nice. And so magical. Oh, wow. <laughs> You look crazy. You don't even know what you look like either. You're just yeah. like, do I look crazy right now? <laughs> Gorgeous. Cool. So nice. I don't know. Okay, I'm just looking at like a day or two after that that I went with Haley to the Paramount. Okay. Right up there, yep. <coughs> just look at me. Tilt your head to the side. That's it. Gorgeous. Really beautiful. Very magical. It's not too bad, eh? Because no. it's going up now. Just keep tilting your head. Can I get you to just move over just a little bit that way? One of the most shocking things that happened to me was when the series went viral. It was like overnight so many people were looking at the series and sharing it and messaging me personal messages. It was amazing, but with the amazing encouragement and kind words and comments also came the doubt, the discouragement, and the criticism. I would have never imagined that standing in my little attic by myself with a staple gun and some spray paint, that some of my images would end up in the places that they have, like the Louvre in Paris. I was even able to raise enough money to hold my very first solo gallery show, and during the gallery show, we collected money for the charity because I am a girl. I grew a fondness for the charity because as a child, I was always allowed to dream and have an imagination, and there are some girls around the world that can't have that. I was just a woman standing in my attic with one backdrop a staple gun, and some spray paint. And I had no idea if I was going to make this work. I wasn't in some big studio. There wasn't enough room for a ton of lighting. I wasn't in some grand location. I was afraid of failure, and sometimes I still am. I know I have a lot more to do with the series, but my mind gets in the way sometimes, and I do doubt myself. I know that the secret garden might not be everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. I just feel like I personally need to do it. I personally need to see myself finish something. If there's anything that I want to tell other artists with the secret garden, is that no matter what, you can create the things that you want to create. Don't let other factors get in your way. 
Don't let other people tell you that you can't do something when you know that you can. Don't let your limitations take away from your imagination and your creativity. So what you don't live in a place that has the most amazing places to photograph? Maybe you live in a small apartment and that's okay. So what if you don't have access to things or people or props? Find a way through it. Maybe all of your props and resources are cheap, but use them again. Recreate. Maybe you want to create your own floral wall, but are afraid because other floral walls have come before. Don't be afraid. Go create your floral wall. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to reach out to other people because they might just be waiting for the opportunity to create something beautiful. If the only thing I ever do with this series is encourage other people to go out there, then I am happy with that. Go find your secret garden and don't be afraid.